you're thinking of moving to Phoenix, Arizona, maybe you have heard of the Biltmore area and maybe you haven't. But either way, if you like high end luxury living with all the amenities and kind of that cool downtown feel without actually having to deal with all the downtown traffic and downsides, then the Biltmore is going to be a great area for you. Today, we're actually going to go through, jump to the Google map, show you all around so you can see exactly how it's laid out, where things are, where the Biltmore area even is in relation to Phoenix and all the surrounding areas. If you actually want to see an in-depth like walk through of all the different neighborhoods, the homes, all the shopping, dining, everything, all that kind of fun stuff. Go check out the vlog tour uh, of the Biltmore area that we did if you actually wanna get into the nitty gritty of what it actually looks like and feels like living in the Biltmore area. So like I said, we're gonna hop onto Google Maps, walk you around, show you everything that there is to see all in the Biltmore area. We have a lot to cover, so let's go ahead and do this. This is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Phoenix, Arizona and all the amazing surrounding areas like the Biltmore, then go ahead and subscribe and click that bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about what is happening in the Phoenix market. My name is Sam, my team and I help people move every single day just like you to the Phoenix area and we absolutely love it. So if you are thinking of making a move, go ahead and shoot us a call, give us a text, send us an email and let us know that you're making a move or if you have questions, you can hop on a Zoom call with us. We would love to answer any questions that you have and help you make a smooth move out here to the Phoenix area. So like I so we're gonna actually be going through checking out everything that Billmore has to offer how things are laid out how you get around where all the best places are and like I said if you do want to actually see all of this what it looks like and what it feels like living in the Biltmore area then definitely go ahead and check out the vlog tour when you're done with this video as well so it's time to head back to the office I'm starting to melt it is really hot so let's get back into some AC jump to the Google Maps and kind of show you all around and how to navigate the Biltmore area I just noticed the guy in the background of that last clip <laughs> giving a shout out so props to that guy who's obviously very excited for this video about the Biltmore. So if nothing else, that should get you guys pumped. Now let's actually go back to the office and check this out. All right, let's dive in and show you everything that Biltmore has to offer. So actually let me zoom you out a little bit more so you can kind of see. All right, so this is kind of like the general Phoenix area right here. Um, over here you have West Valley, like Glendale, Peoria and stuff. Um, over here, kind of East Valley, Tempe, Mesa, Gilbert, Chandler's down here and stuff like that. So you can kind of see this is the Biltmore area. So it's kind of in between Phoenix and Scottsdale's over here. Paradise Valley is up here. Arcadia is right in here. So if you've seen any of our other vlog tours or, or any other videos, kind of map tours and stuff like that of all these different areas, um, Biltmore is kind of right in the middle of all of this so it's not an actual city like there's no address that's going to say like Biltmore Arizona Biltmore is just kind of a general um, area subdivision things like that people are very specific about whether or not they live in the Biltmore area it's similar to um, Arcadia if you've seen that people get like really really specific about whether they live in it or not all right so let's zoom in and kind of check out the Biltmore a little bit uh, so like I said this is kind of the general uh, Arizona Biltmore area all right in here. So the Biltmore is kind of the uh, financial and corporate district a little bit. A lot of the financial and financial institutions, um, banks, lenders, investment firms, other financing things, like a lot of those companies are gonna be um, in this area. So the main road right here is Camelback Road that goes all the way through. This goes all the way from the West Valley all the way uh, east and stuff like that through Scottsdale and everything. So that's kind of the main road. And Biltmore is just off of uh, Camelback, both kind of north and south in those areas. So we'll kind of start over here on the left and work our way over. So um, if you are gonna be living in the Biltmore area, now it's not super um, residential and kind of family. The majority of the living in the Biltmore area is gonna be like high rise condos, uh, luxury townhomes, things like that. There are not a ton of single family homes. Uh, but the ones that they do have, they are like big custom states, big mansions, things like that. So you're going to see Arizona Biltmore states right in here. These are like multi-million dollar giant homes. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous, high end uh, luxury and things like that. But there's not going to be a lot of affordable, like single family housing and stuff like that in the Biltmore, just so you know. So uh, if schools are important in the Biltmore area, you've got the Xavier Preparatory College, Brophy College Preparatory. These are both high schools. Um, as well as you have, I think it's, oh, let me zoom out a little bit. There should be one over here. Oh, here it is right here, Deb. Uh, Camelback High School is over here as well. So if you're looking for high school, you have it. There are a couple uh, charter schools, private schools and things like that for middle school as well as grade school if you're interested. 
So when you're in the Biltmore area, some of the neighborhoods that we checked out, you can go, if you wanna see what the neighborhoods look like, what all of these areas look like, um, get some walkthroughs at Fieldport. We actually did a vlog tour on the Biltmore area, so go check it out. It's really fun and it's gorgeous to get to see all of these different areas and everything like that. So some of the neighborhoods that we looked at are right along here, just off of 32nd Street and Camelback, some of the luxury homes in the beautiful neighborhoods over here. They're kind of set into the hills a little bit. You get gorgeous mountain views of Camelback um, and everything like that. And then of course the Arizona Biltmore Estates, like I said, custom multi-million dollar luxury homes. So if you want kind of a single family home, a lot of land, a big house, these are the two areas where you can kind of get some of that. If you want the more high rise uh, condo, luxury kind of um, townhouse or condo feel, all up and down this street right here and just off of Camelback right here. So right in these areas, you're gonna see a lot of townhomes and condos all along here. You're gonna see townhomes and condos and stuff like that. So if you wanna live right in the middle of the action, it literally, you'll have like one building is um, condos and then the three buildings around it are like all these different corporate offices and stuff like that. So if you work in the area um, and you wanna live in the area and literally walk downstairs and walk across the street to your office, you can do that here, which is really cool. They have gorgeous, gorgeous luxury condos in this area, but again, they are gonna be very, very expensive. Billmore is not affordable. It is high end, it is luxury, um, and you are gonna have that price tag to go along with it with housing. But uh, the views make it worth it because the views are incredible. So if you're gonna be living in this area um, or even just visit the area checking things out like I said Camelback is the main street right along here and just off the sides of it are you're gonna have all your shopping dining um, entertainment and everything like that so first of all you've got the town and country shopping center let's go over here so it's just off the uh, 51 which is one of the main highways right here so it's really convenient it's easy to get to and so this is one of the main shopping centers that you're gonna have right here they have um, everything they've got Target they have uh, Best Buy there's a ton of different um, restaurants and stuff like that. Ooh, this is one of our, my husband and I, we love this place, the Parlor Pizzeria, the pizzas and pasta and the charcuterie boards. Oh my gosh, so stinking good. It actually used to be this old um, hair salon called the Hair Parlor. And they actually like kept a lot of the original uh, architecture and some of the furniture and stuff. So it's really cool. It's got this cool like retro vibe and the food is phenomenal. They have the cutest little patio. So if you're in the area, you have to check it out for sure. Um, you've got Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. So if you need to do grocery shopping, that's all right here. Again, more restaurants, shops, everything um, all in here. And then as you kind of continue down here, you've got um, all of this is going to be either hotels or um, different corporate office buildings. And as you come up here a little bit, all right, so this is where you're kind of going for like your basic, um, you know, basic shops, restaurants, everything like that. When you want like more restaurants, more luxury high-end restaurants and all of the luxury high-end shopping, you're gonna come over here and this is gonna be the Biltmore Fashion Park. So this is where you get all of the, like your really fancy high-end stuff. So uh, Flint is a restaurant, Flint by Voltaire, another one of our favorite restaurants. A lot of our favorite restaurants are in this area. My husband and I love this place. Um, the first time we ate there, we loved it so much, we went back like three times that, that month that we found it. So it's delicious. It's like fire roasted Mediterranean. They have this incredible rooftop um, bar and patio area. It's so stinking good. Um, if you like Mexican food, you got Blanco, which has, um, it's like modern Mexican food, uh, really good different tequila, margaritas, stuff like that. And over here, of course, you have your shopping. You have Pottery Barn, uh, Saks Fifth Avenue. You have Lululemon. Uh, there's the Apple Store. There's Macy's. There's a bunch of fancy clothing brands that I don't even know the name of because I am not super fancy like that. Uh, they have Williams Sonoma. They have a whole um, outdoor right in the middle, kind of middle here. I know it looks small, but it's actually a lot bigger in person. It's a big outdoor mall. You can walk through. They've got misters going. They have all these different little coffee shops. Um, you can stop for gelato, uh, ice cream, everything like that. And they have this little grassy area right here. And you can do, um, they do throughout the week. And on the weekends, yoga, you can actually bring. There's free yoga classes. You can go do yoga. They even have like yoga for dogs. You bring your dog with you. <laughs> That's how you know it's like a fancy part of time. You bring your dog with you and you're, they teach you how to do like yoga with your dog. It's hilarious just to sit there and I've like watched a couple sessions. It's a lot of fun to just like watch it, nothing else. Uh, you've got more restaurants over here. Uh, Pomo, which is one of my favorite little Italian places over here. Um, this is really common that you're gonna see in Arizona now is Tesla supercharger stations. A lot of different shopping centers in all different parts of town, whether it's high end or not, um, has a lot of Tesla um, or electric car charging stations. Arizona's really trying to move towards that, be more, um, 
kind of econ not economically, what am I trying to think of? Environmentally <laughs> friendly, but also electric cars are incredibly popular. Solar, electric, all of that uh, is very, very popular in Arizona now. And so especially in these kind of main shopping centers, you're gonna see a lot of Tesla charging stations. So if you have an electric car, if you have a Tesla, um, a lot of the shopping plazas and main kind of city centers you go to are gonna have charging stations for that, which is pretty cool. Um, over here is the Lifetime Fitness. If you watch our vlog tour, we actually like show the outside of it a little bit. This is the bougiest gym I've seen in my, it looks like a resort from the outside. It's like five or six stories high. They have a rooftop pool, a rooftop bar. They have their infrared saunas and personal masseuses and like a little smoothie bar. Like it's just, it's crazy. It's so, it's so luxurious. It's a, it's a little, it's a little ridiculous, but if you're going to pay to uh, go to it, you might as well get everything <laughs> that comes with it. Right. All right. So as you keep going up, um, as you point, come back, there's going to be some more neighborhoods up in here where they have those really big, beautiful, sprawling homes. Again, very expensive. These are going to be at least a million or more starting off in these neighborhoods. Uh, but they are really beautiful. The homes, the yards, the lots, everything is very big, really nice. You've got some breakfast places up in here. You've got First Watch, Matt's Big Breakfast. I'm a big brunch person, obviously very basic. <laughs> and I love brunch. So they've got a couple good places. And as you, let me zoom me in a little bit so you can kind of see right here. Um, so as you keep going up Camelback, there's going to be different shopping centers. There's a bunch of different shops and stores in here, as well as in here, a couple different bars, there's places to get your nails done. There's the blow dry bar. Um, there's uh, a couple different schools and stuff in here as well. So as you kind of go through, there's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of businesses, a lot of amenities and stuff like that here in the Biltmore area. Like I said, if you want to get a good feel for it, kind of see what it's like, you can watch our vlog tours and right here, kind of around 40th street is kind of where the Biltmore area ends. This is when you start getting into Arcadia over here. This is kind of where it starts to be um, Arcadia. And if you want to learn more about Arcadia, it's more residential, family, community, but again, really high end, beautiful kind of California feel. You can go watch the Arcadia vlog tour um, if you want. But so this kind of area again is um, the Biltmore area. You also have the Arizona Biltmore. It's a Waldorf Astoria resort. Uh, very famous, very historical uh, resort in here. It was actually uh, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright and it still has all the original um, architecture and design and everything like that. So it's one of the uh, more high-end luxury resorts in the entire state of Arizona. Uh, they have restaurants. You can actually go to the restaurants anytime. You don't have to be staying at the resort or anything. You can make a reservation and just go to the restaurant. They've got uh, the golf course. If you do want to go uh, golfing, the Arizona Billboard Golf Club is a very beautiful, very uh, luxury high-end. How many times have I said luxury and high-end in this video? Um, golf course. So you can actually go. You can um, buy a day pass to the pool. They've got a gorgeous pool. They just redid it last year and it is stunning. So they have a really cool um, kind of resort style pool. They actually have a few different pools. They've got one with some water slides and kind of more like family friendly and stuff like that. They've got one with a swim up bar that's just an adult pool. So they have a lot to offer. You can buy day passes and stuff like that if you're actually not staying at the resort, but you just want to check it out and kind of enjoy everything that it has to offer. So if you are traveling a lot, whether it's for work, whether it's for fun, you want to know how long it's going to take to get to the airport. The Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport is our main airport here. And so I just want to show you what We'll kind of go from the Silver Fashion Park Center Central. So it's going to take you about, uh, it's only like six and a half miles. It'll take you about 10 minutes. And this is right now. We're about midday. There's no rush hour traffic or anything like that. So if you are going to be going in the middle of rush hour, especially because you have to take the highways right here, you have to take the 51 and then the 10. If you've seen our other videos, the 10 highway right here, that kind of curves down like this. The 10 is a hot mess of a highway, especially during rush hour. It is like gridlock, stop and go. It's rough. So for rush hour plan, probably closer to 20 minutes to get you to the airport. But the nice thing about Bidmore is you're pretty central. You are close to the Sky Harbor area as well as to uh, downtown Phoenix if you're going over there a lot. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of where everything is at in relation to uh, the Biltmore area as well as to kind of know how to get around and how long it's going to take you to get to and from the airport and everything like that. So um, I think that is honestly about it for this video. Like I said, um, a lot of amenities, the living is very expensive. Housing is expensive, whether it's a luxury condo, a giant estate, a custom um, home or mansion in this area, it is more expensive, but it is really beautiful. It's very similar uh, to kind of that Paradise Valley or Scottsdale feel. If you want to learn more about Paradise Valley or Scottsdale, you can watch our vlog tours of that as well. But like I said, watch the vlog tour, but when you can actually see what the homes are like, um, how far your money will go, what different price points will get you in this area. Uh, it is really a cool kind of, um, 
corporate financial district feel, but again, really beautiful, really well manicured. Everything is just pristinely upkept and everything like that. So it's a really great area, beautiful, lots to do, lots of shopping, restaurants and everything like that. So hopefully this kind of gave you a good idea of how it's laid out, uh, what it looks like. If you want to learn more, if you still have questions about the Biltmore area or any other areas, if I didn't cover it in this video, let us know, reach out, let me know in the comments or shoot us a text or send us an email or hop on a Zoom call with us. Let us know what questions that you have, what more you want to learn about the Biltmore or any other areas. Hopefully this gave you a little bit of information, kind of a good feel for it, but feel free to check out any of our other videos if you want to learn more. And until next time, we hope to see you soon. Thank you.